Quantum immortality is an idea born from the mind-bending many-worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics. First proposed by physicist Hugh Everett in 1957, the many-worlds interpretation suggests that every quantum event causes the universe to branch into multiple parallel realities, with each possible outcome manifesting in its own universe. This implies that while one version of you may experience death, another might survive in a parallel universe. Quantum immortality applies this concept to human consciousness, speculating that the subjective experience of being alive, your I, always continues in a branch where survival is possible. Consider Schrodinger's famous cat experiment. The feline exists simultaneously in a state of life and death until an observer measures it. Quantum immortality extends this principle to personal experience, positing that consciousness never collapses into the dead state, but always transitions into surviving branches. While the theory is speculative and unproven, it challenges our fundamental notions of death, reality, and the continuity of existence, setting the stage for a thrilling intersection of science and philosophy. At the heart of quantum immortality lies the question of consciousness. What is it, and how does it relate to the quantum realm? The many worlds interpretation is a deterministic framework, but consciousness introduces an element of subjectivity that seems to defy strict determinism. Theories such as Penrose and Hameroff's orc or model suggest that consciousness might arise from quantum processes within the brain's microtubules, hinting at its connection to the quantum domain. In this view, consciousness could act as an observer that navigates branching universes. Philosophical ideas like modal realism, championed by David Lewis, further bolster this perspective by asserting that all possible worlds are equally real. If every decision and outcome spawns a new universe, it is plausible that consciousness selects which path to follow. Such ideas blur the line between science and metaphysics, challenging us to consider whether the self is merely a product of neural activity or an entity that transcends physical constraints capable of traversing the infinite landscape of the multiverse. What happens when we die? In the framework of quantum immortality, death might not be an absolute cessation but a transition, a shift in conscious experience to a parallel universe where survival continues. This idea finds intriguing parallels in the quantum concept of superposition, where particles exist in multiple states simultaneously until observed. Similarly, Consciousness might exist in a superposed state across multiple realities, collapsing only into the alive branches. Reports of near-death experiences provide anecdotal support for this concept. Many individuals who have had near-death experiences describe sensations of floating, timelessness, and encounters with an all-encompassing light, experiences that feel detached from physical constraints. While skeptics attribute these phenomena to brain chemistry, proponents of quantum immortality see them as glimpses of consciousness transitioning across dimensions. Such interpretations challenge traditional views of mortality and open new avenues for understanding the nature of the self, suggesting that the end of physical life may not equate to the end of subjective experience. Despite its allure, quantum immortality faces significant scientific and philosophical challenges. For one, the many worlds interpretation remains a contested theory. While it resolves paradoxes in quantum mechanics such as wave-particle duality, critics argue that it lacks empirical testability, making it more of a philosophical framework than a proven scientific fact. Additionally, there is no direct evidence to support the idea that consciousness can transfer between parallel universes. Competing interpretations of quantum mechanics, such as the Copenhagen interpretation or pilot wave theory, 
do not require the existence of alternate realities and view quantum collapse as a definitive process. Neuroscientific studies also cast doubt on quantum consciousness theories, with many researchers attributing consciousness to classical neural networks rather than quantum effects. However, it's worth noting that many groundbreaking scientific ideas faced skepticism in their early stages. Quantum immortality remains an open question, inviting deeper inquiry into both the nature of consciousness and the structure of reality. If quantum immortality holds even a kernel of truth, its implications are profound and far-reaching. Philosophically, it redefines death not as an end, but as a transition, reshaping our understanding of existence and the self. This perspective aligns with spiritual traditions that view life as a continuum and the soul as eternal. On a practical level, it invites us to reconsider our fears and motivations, encouraging a life lived fully in the present moment, unburdened by the fear of finality. It also raises ethical questions about the multiverse. If infinite versions of ourselves exist, how do our choices impact the broader cosmic web? Speculatively, advances in quantum technology and neuroscience might one day offer tools to explore these ideas more concretely, bridging the gap between science and spirituality. For now, quantum immortality remains a tantalizing mystery, a theory that challenges us to expand our understanding of reality and embrace the infinite possibilities of existence.